They are the perfect way to mail a card that supports the USPS in its time of need, while also saying, I like last week tonight, and I'm sorry I forgot Mother's Day. John Oliver has launched branded stamps to help support the US Postal Service. At the worst possible time, this American institution is on the brink of collapse. On Sunday's episode of Last Week Tonight, the host took a look at why that is, explaining that it isn't email or the internet that has hurt the US Postal Service's bottom line. In fact, he said it's a law called the Postal Accountability and Enhancement Act of 2006, according to some observers. The law requires the USPS to prepay healthcare benefits for retirees on a 50-year schedule and also put price caps on first-class mail. So they had massive new obligations to meet, even as their income was basically locked in place. Oliver also noted that Amazon sometimes contacts the Postal Service to deliver its packages, which he said may have something to do with why President Trump has been critical of the USPS. The host said, Trump is strongly opposed to giving the USPS sufficient aid, and many believe it's because of its relationship with Amazon, which is owned by Jeff Bezos. Who also owns the Washington Post, whose political coverage is hated by the president, who, as we know, makes policy decisions based on his never-ending game of six degrees of how is this about me. Oliver went on to note that the purchase of stamps is still a key revenue generator for the USPS. So to that end, he announced that the show's staff had been working with Stamps.com for many weeks to launch a line of Last Week Tonight branded stamps. You can find postage featuring Chijon, a Bolivian zebra, Mr. Nutterbutter, and our personal favorite, and now, a stamp. You can buy sheets of these. The stamps are available on stamps.com slash last stamp tonight. For more on this story, head to th.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.